ಜೀವನ್ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರದಂ ದೇವಂ ಕ್ಷಮಾಪೂರ್ಣ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಹಂ ಸಾಖ್ಯಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಜೀವನ್ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರದಂ ದೇವಂ ಕ್ಷಮಾಪೂರ್ಣ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಹಂ ಸಾಖ್ಯಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಆನಂದಾನುಭವಾಸ್ವಾದ ಸರ್ವರೋಗ ನಿವಾರಕ ವಂದೇ ಪಾಪ ವಿನಾಶಕ್ತ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಆನಂದಾನುಭವಾಸ್ವಾದ ಸರ್ವರೋಗ ನಿವಾರಕ ವಂದೇ ಪಾಪ ವಿನಾಶಕ್ತ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ನಿತ್ಯಮುಕ್ತ ನಿರ್ವಿಕಲ್ಪ ಧ್ಯಾನಲೋಕ ಪ್ರದೀಪಕ ವಂದೇ ಶಾಂತ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ a compelling spiritual force of our millennium founder of an international socio spiritual movement pioneer of a modern vedic renaissance born in the sacred town of tiruvannamalai in southern india a yogi by birth fearless spiritual explorer beacon of divine power parmahamsa nityananda is today an inspiration for millions on the path adept in ancient mystical yogic sciences researcher of the science of spirituality guru for enlightenment every year paramahamsa nityananda shares with over 10 million people worldwide the treasures of his wisdom the joy of his laughter and the incomparable power of his initiation now paramahamsa nityananda reveals the secrets of living enlightenment join us for an unforgettable spiritual experience sachidananda roopinam vande sanatanam punyam nityanandaya swagatam sarva dharma pranetaram sachidananda roopinam vande sanatanam punyam nityanandaya swagatam veda vedanta samvedhyam deva devi we are not the scriptures which can't be updated there is no need for any interpolation bhagavad gita itself considered as one of the upanishads even though it appears in mahabharata which is smriti not shruti as per the vedic standard because it comes directly from bhagavan himself it is considered as upanishad our kings and gurus all of them have taken this as a vow we will not allow any interpolation with the scripture i read a beautiful story of how the king and the gurus they were so close to uphold the tradition in a place called kalayar govil is a shiva temple in southern part of tamil nadu there was a king periyamurdu and chinna two brothers the elder brother and younger brother both of them were kings elder brother was a king and younger one was prince they were really fortunate to have a guru the spiritual guide the king wanted to create a beautiful chariot for the temple and they created all the necessary things like wood whatever is needed they made everything available and the guru personally supervised and did the chariot and the guru is expert in the different sciences of vedic tradition astrology usually the gurus are supposed to be experts in all the sciences vastu astrology the 
sthapatya in all these sciences so he is a adept after completing the chariot he did something in the wheel that the chariot can never move one worker saw this secretly he inserted certain pieces into the wheel that wheel will never rotate one worker saw that but he could not understand anyhow the time for the chariot festival came and the whole city gathered they are pulling the chariot naturally it will not move because the guru has done something it's not moving the king and the king's brother both of them are falling at the feet of guru and saying what is this master we don't know why the chariot is not moving the king doesn't know that this is purposely done by the king by the guru but they are begging please make this chariot move and the guru was not telling anything at some time earlier at some situation guru has asked the king whatever you want ask me a boon the king has reserved that boon he told i will ask you when i need i want to keep this boon reserved guru was also accepted now the king is reminding guru now i am using that boon please make this chariot move let the ratotsava happen then guru says all right i'll make it happen i want one thing from you i want you to give that arasa mudra means the there is a ring there will be a ring with the emblem of the country only king will wear the raja mudra and the staff is called sengol the kingly staff the staff of the king he asks both king says what is there both are your properties after all guru is the highest authority he surrenders both at the feet of guru and guru blesses all right now the chariot will move don't worry he wears the raja mudra and the raja danda the stick royal stick and the royal ring sits on the chariot and removes those blockages which he himself created and immediately chariot moves and chariot was rolling beautifully at one time one point uncontrollably chariot had started rolling rushing on the road the whole city could not do anything they tried their best to stop it they are not able to do anything they were not able to do anything eliminate stress from your life step up your performance levels enhance your clarity and decision making kalpataru a unique full day transformational healing program blessed personally by rare living incarnation paramahamsa nityananda harness the power of meditation and initiation experience a glimpse of kundalini awakening for permanent physical and mental transformation take the first step to a happy and successful life kalpataru manifest your destiny Every weekend at Nityananda Dhyana Peetam, Nityananda Nagar, Bidadi, Bengaluru.
ಪ್ರಕಾಶಿತ ಶೋಭಿತ ಲಿಂಗಂ ಜನ್ಮಜ ದುಃಖ ವಿನಾಶಕ ಲಿಂಗಂ ಜನ್ಮಜ ದುಃಖ ವಿನಾಶಕ ಲಿಂಗಂ ತತ್ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಅಸ್ತು ಸನ್ಮನೆ ಪಾಗುಪ್ಯ It was uncontrollable. Finally, in the chaos, Guru falls from the chariot. And chariot, before even king could stop, the wheel rolls on the Guru. And 
is practically in dead bed the guru the king rushes and could not do anything and takes the guru said on his lap and cries what is this master why is this then guru just smiles and closes his eyes resting in samadhi the guru's hand there was a leaf palm leaf the king removes that and reads it's a nadi leaf which says the day this chariot rolls in the temple the king will die king's life is the sacrifice for the chariot then only then this city will have the auspicious thing either there should not be a chariot if there is a chariot the king's life is the first sacrifice so the guru he himself accepted the kingdom for the few hours and left the body the king cries oh, master why did you die if i died at least you would have created like me some more kings now you died who will create the next generation kings and as asariri voice without the form guru appears and says no my son i am already enlightened even if i leave the body nothing will be lost nothing will be destroyed but you are yet to get enlightened so i want you to live in the body and get enlightened then leave the body kingdom will be taken care by the shiva those days they did not trust human beings the deity of the kingdom is considered as a king he will take care of the kingdom of course he is taking care still the city is there chariot is there and the story is there to keep the name of the king or the name of the guru alive it was this strong unity among the gurus and kings that kept our tradition alive the guru says very clearly i have already became enlightened now i can break my body he says very beautifully ripe tamarind fruit can afford to break its shell but unripe tamarind can't break its shell he says i am ripe tamarind fruit i can break the shell you need to you are still yet to ripe wait get ripe and then your body can be dropped so the whole purpose for which they were having body is to get enlightened if somebody is enlightened he says no i have uh, done what needs to be done i can leave the body come on you live and achieve enlightenment when i read the story of oh god what a clear understanding with which these guys have lived so there is no interpolation or manipulation in bhagavad gita its pure truth as it is it is upanishad by its own right here it shows very clearly krishna is filled with upanishads the scriptures which were available during his time that is why he is using exactly the same word aprameyam upanishad says there the sun does not shine neither the moon and the stars nor do these flashes of lightning shine how can this fire he is shining all the shine through his lust and luster all these are variously illumined describing the atman describing the atma describing the existence atma means 
existence. Please don't translate the word Atma into soul. Because the word soul cannot grasp all the dimensions of the word Atma. Existence is the right word. क्या आप स्वयं एक अवतार पुरुष से अपने जीवन में दिव्य मार्गदर्शन चाहते हैं? प्रस्तुत करते हैं अवतार पुरुष से वार्ता नित्यानंदम नित्यानंदा ही है परमहंस नित्यानंदा संसार को एक और अतुल्य और अनोखी भेंट दे रहे हैं Got practically everything and too much for a phone call. अब वो लाइव किसी के भी प्रश्नों का उत्तर स्वयं देंगे. That's great. <laughs> no, you ask anything you want in your life. Ask me any boon you want. आठ से प्रारंभ. कुछ सौभाग्यशाली लोग जो शून्य आठ शून्य दो सात दो सात नौ 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 पर फोन करेंगे. वो स्वयं स्वामी जी से बात कर सकते हैं लाइव देखें एन टीवी पर एन टीवी डॉट नित्यानंदा डॉट ओ आर जी वेलकम टू इनर अवेकनिंग द मोस्ट पावरफुल पर्सनल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन रिट्रीट यू कुड एवर एक्सपीरियंस इन जस्ट ट्वेंटी वन डेज थाउजेंड आर ऑलरेडी एक्सपीरियंसिंग द शॉर्टेस्ट रूट टू कॉन्स्टेंटली हाई एनर्जी लेवल्स विजिबल एंटी एजिंग healing of chronic diseases fulfilling relationships and higher states of consciousness what is the secret behind this transformation kundalini means the inner potential energy once it is awakened opens the different doors for the conscious experience in you I can say which is a master key for all extraordinary spiritual experiences. This extraordinary program is conducted personally by Paramahamsa Nityananda in the vibrant atmosphere of Nityananda Dhyanapitam Ashram. open yourself to the benefits of nitya yoga and practical meditation experience physical and mental healing discover simple ways to handle life with success above all enjoy individual darshan and blessings from paramahamsa nityananda every day take 21 days for yourself and carry home the transformation of a lifetime both the upanishad the cross references insist and emphasize the immortality of the soul krishna is making the spiritual truths into an immediate instruction see people are very happy to make the pure science also as one more fantasy fiction sangha makes dhamma into practical life that is why thousands and thousands listen to my discourses but only few hundred come inside the sangha inside sangha means listening to the word like krishna says therefore fight yudhyasva bharata bhagavad gita ends with this verse after this what whatever krishna is saying just he is psychologically preparing arjuna to make pure science into practical science dhamma into sangha actually buddha is required only to make dhamma into sangha otherwise dhamma is there forever in the world 
then why buddhas happen to make dhamma into sangha to make pure science into practical science pure science itself does not disappear from planet earth it is there A small story on the road one guy was standing in his car stuck in the mud and he tried his best he is not able to move the car he called all the local people all of them tried nobody was able to move one farmer was going with his donkey they called him please can you help to get this car out with your donkey the farmer says oh dabin are you ready to do he asked the donkey donkey shook the head then he went and tied the rope after a few minutes he first calls one name some name and says come on pull then again he calls another one name a hey, come on pull he calls another one name and says come on pull then finally fourth he says o oh, dabin come on pull and the donkey pulled and car came out the owner was very happy finally he rewarded the farmer and asked the farmer why did you call first three names and then finally called the dabin's name the farmer whispered by the way he says oh my dabin is blind and if he thought he was the only one pulling he would never try he need to know four donkeys are pulling only then he will try see the pure science was always there making it into a practical science that is where you need farmer how to pull the donkey how to make the see car is there somebody has to pull is the pure science that is always there but how to make this donkey pull the car out is the practical science very beautifully ramana maharshi says the man who thinks i am sanyasi can never be sanyasi the man who does not think i am sanyasi or grihastha or anything even if he is in householder life married life is beyond sanyasi he is more than a sanyasi the person who thinks i am sanyasi can never be a sanyasi that word is enough to make him householder the man who does not even feel is a sanyasi or grihastha is the real sanyasi that's what exactly krishna means here are you understand the very idea you are a killer or one going to be killed both are lies somebody imagines they are killers so they go on feeling that they are killing somebody imagines they will be killed and they will always experience being killed it is just your simple decision see in your life many time you will see take this verse as a technique not as a teaching when you are in upper hand in some situations of your life see how you feel behave when you are suppressed somebody else is in upper hand just see how your mind behaves it is just your identification when you feel somebody else is having the upper hand you expect sympathy when you are in upper hand you are not ready to show sympathy i am not saying change your way of working or thinking or attitude no see krishna is not saying change your way he is not asking arjuna to run away from the war field no 
See, after all, now Arjuna is the upper hand. He is not saying, run away without killing, showing sympathy. No. He is saying, understand this whole thing is a psychodrama. At one time, you will be in lower mood. At one time, you will be in the upper hand. It is just flow of life. This is the way it is flowing. The self, which is the source, neither kills nor gets killed. He is just saying, realize that you are beyond both. Discover the power of Kundalini awakening at Kalpataru, a unique full-day transformational program blessed personally by rare living incarnation Paramahamsa Nityananda. What is Kundalini? Kundalini is the tremendous potential energy hidden inside every individual which can be awakened through initiation by an enlightened master. Once awakened, Kundalini has the power to transform every area of your life and bring you health, wealth, success, joyful relationships and spiritual enlightenment. Harness the power of meditation and initiation. Experience a glimpse of Kundalini awakening at Kalpataru. Manifest your destiny. Every weekend at Nityananda Dhyanapetam, Nityananda Nagar, Bidadi, Bengaluru. Black people per day. The ingenious program a field of all possibilities. The children in the ingenious program are directly under the guidance of enlightened master Paramahamsa Nithyananda. Nithyananda is an incarnation and exudes the knowledge of conflict-free living. He states that enlightenment is our birthright. What an incredible gift for your child, a once-in-a-lifetime privilege to live and thrive in the energy field of all possibilities and give enlightenment to your child. Where every child can become a genius. Learning can unveil the genius in every child provided it stimulates higher order thinking skills, positive self-esteem, teamwork, and an internal locus of control. Research has proven that holistic teaching methodologies paired with meditation 
stimulate whole brain functioning, and result in self-directed, spontaneous, and creative lifelong learners. An enriched environment. When young children have an enriched environment, conducive to early learning in life, they have higher IQ, cognitive intelligence, EQ, social emotional intelligence, and SQ, spiritual intelligence. These early experiences are critical for the development of the child. Peer pressure and destructive social conditioning can take its toll on the child. It can create negative thought patterns and destructive behaviors unless these enriching experiences are provided. An enriched environment includes whole brain activities which stimulate the utilization of both sides of the brain. The right brain is responsible for creativity, intuition, spontaneity, quantum memory, learning in a flash, and computer-like calculations. The left side of the brain is responsible for inner linear thinking and analysis. When both sides of the brain are integrated, performance is optimal. Brain Yoga Brain Yoga activates the ability to balance the right and the left brain. This helps open the sixth sense. Children are given activities to balance both sides of the body simultaneously using distinctive postures that stimulate both sides. The neurological brain patterns move from beta to alpha, increasing alertness and attention. Quantum memory. Quantum memory is a constant downloading of information without interference of the mind. Observation skills are directly related to memory skills. Reading without interference of the mind, reading at quantum speed, will lead to quantum memory without the mind getting in the way. Creative and Performing Arts Dance, drama, music, sculpting, and design offered in the Ingenious Program provide kinesthetic motor stimulation to engage the brainwave patterns resulting in expanded creativity and resourcefulness. Sattvic Food Children are given the benefit of fresh sattvic food prepared to the standards according to the ancient Vedic lifestyle. The food is fresh with fruits and vegetables. Vegetarian food creates radiant health in the body. Vedic Cultural Arts Sanskrit chanting stimulates the brain to produce full brain coherence, developing clearer perception and integrated thinking. Chanting also promotes inner silence and improves the attention span. Meditation and expanded awareness. Meditation instills a deep silence in the child, resulting in deeper, richer perception and clarity in thinking. Ingenious produces the next step in evolution, a mature human being who functions at a higher state of consciousness. Expanded awareness provides the platform for a vision of all abilities of life, perfect health, prosperity, and life without conflict. What more could you ask for your child? If I can just teach this one science to the kids, I will have Millions of enlightened beings.